Let's mix up my first banana bag. It's turning yellow! Things are not going well and it's, it is scary. I've had a busy morning. At 6 a.m. my infusion pump started going off telling me the infusion bag was empty so I woke up and changed that out and then I couldn't go back to sleep so I folded laundry at 6 in the morning and then around 7 30 I started getting really sick but thankfully that passed. Then I had to change my port needle. You'll notice the dressing is different from yesterday. I'm actually more allergic to the white gauze border dressing and with my delivery yesterday came my clear tegaderm dressing, so I changed that out. That was my third needle change this week. Monday, because it had to be done. Tuesday, because the dressing got wet in the shower. And now today, because I was allergic to the other dressings, lots of needle changes. Then I did some recording for my How to Get Answers When You're Chronically Ill video. It's coming along really well. And today, as in Friday, I am uploading my service dog gear video to the public on YouTube. My patrons got early access to it, and they loved it, so I hope you all like it too. There is a link to the service dog gear video pinned in the comments and if you want to know what a patron is there's a link to my patreon page in the description and now i'm gonna go feed harlow she's got lots of apples this time and i am just so thrilled her veggie pops worked out okay so this is my next infusion bag and these are the two vials of vitamins that have the nutrients and everything in there to make this a banana bag, which I'll be doing three times a week. And I haven't mixed one before, but I'm fairly certain I know what I'm doing. I just take a syringe, draw this out, and then push it through the Mediport here. But I'm waiting for a call back from my home health pharmacist just to make sure I'm doing it correctly. So I'll wait and see. But I brought these out to reach room temperature because they're stored in the fridge. Don't like to infuse cold fluids. I'm making my melt in your mouth chicken today. It's one of my favorite recipes. In here is just mayo, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, and seasoning salt. I marinate it all day and it tastes so good. That's going to stay in the fridge until it's time to bake it. <laughs> next to the IVIG. Just an update on the IVIG. We are still waiting for insurance approval for me to get it done at an infusion center. Insurance will approve it because I'm the perfect candidate for IVIG due to my immunodeficiency, but the trouble is they're confused because I was doing home health and now I'm going to a hospital's infusion center. So there's just some kinks we're sorting out, but it'll get sorted. I'm confident in my doctor's staff to get that done. Now I'm gonna go lay on the couch because I'm really feeling kind of run down this morning. I have recently become obsessed with Shark Tank. It's actually a pretty good show. I'm watching it on Hulu. Just heard from my home health pharmacist. I had everything right with how to set up the banana bag, except I can use one syringe for both vials. I don't have to do a separate syringe for each vial. So in about an hour when this current infusion bag finishes, I will go set up my very first banana bag. This infusion bag is done. Let's mix up my first banana bag. Got my vials of vitamins here. Pop the top off one. Alcohol swab the top. Pop the top off the other one. <laughs> Alcohol swab the other one. Take out the syringe. Puncture. Vitamins. Oh, look at that, it's definitely yellow. Puncture the other vial, draw it out, get all of the air out of the syringe. Then I take the syringe and put it through the med port here. Push it into the bag. It's turning yellow! This is so cool. I've never pushed medicine through the med port of my infusion bags, but there's a first time for everything and I'm doing it well, cool. This will go in the sharps container in a moment. Then I just do this a few times. See, it turned yellow. That's why they call it a banana bag because of the color. 
and now it has a lot of vitamins and nutrients and this should really help me feel better since I'm barely eating 500 calories a day and just really lacking nutrition from not being able to eat. All right, let's hook this up now. I'm just priming the tubing, which means I'm getting all the air out of the tubing. Infusion bag goes in my infusion backpack. Pump goes in the backpack. Tubing goes in the backpack. And I am all good to go. The banana bag just feels like a normal lactated Ringo or saline infusion bag. It doesn't feel any different, but it's hopefully going to make me feel better because of the added sugar and nutrients and vitamins. I'm back home from work. And sorry I didn't vlog too much yesterday. I was actually feeling the effects of giving blood just because it was a little dehydrated and a little bulimic. So Bulimic? Bulimic. Hypovolemic. Hypovolemic. That's what I deal with with my pots. Oh my gosh, like you're so <laughs> special or something. I am a special person. Special kind of special. <laughs> I am going to go start cooking dinner. I need my walker. Babe, hey, will you get my walker for me, please? I'm a hypovolemic. No, you're not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh wait, Harlow's under the thing. Harlow, yeah. you're gonna get crushed by these chairs one day. My chariot awaits, and just in case y'all are wondering, hypovolemia means low blood volume. It is a symptom of my POTS, and something Judd dealt with yesterday due to giving blood. The chickens have marinated all day, and they are on the tray about to go in the oven. I'm going to post a link to this recipe in the description. It's really easy and tasty. Got some fries going, and the broccoli cooking. The chickens are boiling alive in there. Wow. Whose fault is that? Fine, but I need you to fix it. <laughs> Why do I have to solve it? Just, 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 just common practice for people to... They sound angry. Get the police to fix all their problems? Yeah. <laughs> like adult babysitters. Yay, do they look okay? Yeah, they look like chicken. French fries, broccoli, and chickens. Oh, some parts got crispy. We were about to sit down for dinner when Judd found... An infestation is happening. So we get crabs in our place? During the summer. <laughs> it's not focusing. Focus. Gotcha. There we go. Because we live on the inlet, crabs sometimes come in. This is a legit crab. That I just found in our dining room. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's right there in the corner. <laughs> Some people get roaches, we get little crabs. <laughs> Judd is putting tiny crab back outside and this is the food I have here. I'm really hoping I can eat it. I took an erythromycin about 45 minutes ago, but we'll see. As opposed to Judd's plate, there's so much food there. Is the crab okay? No, it's dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so sad. Well, it got stuck in the house, you know? Oh, the poor crab. All right, you ready to eat? It's gonna be another crab's dinner. They eat each other? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I didn't eat anything. All right, you ready to eat? Yes. Let's pray. So Judd and I were talking about our concerns about my gastroparesis issues. My GI doctor called me late last night and we discussed the regimen we set up with my other doctor and she is on board. However, we are all kind of in agreement that there's more to this than just my gastroparesis. My Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome could be playing a part in this because EDS has the potential to cause digestive issues. My Median Arcuate Ligament Syndrome could also be contributing greatly to this, which is why we're looking further into it with an angiogram, which is imaging with contrast, but Judd's getting concerned again. Yeah, we're just going to end up in the same boat like we did last time, and what's the point of waiting until we get to that point? If we just know we're gonna end up there again. Yeah. Kind of do a little crime prevention. So. I'm regressing back. I'm falling back into the routine and back to where I was leading up to the emergency room visit and the hospital admission. And each day it's getting a little worse. So tomorrow I'm gonna call my doctor and tell him this isn't working and we need to move forward with our other options which was the feeding tube unless he has something else he wants to try i'm open to that but we said if i don't improve or if i start to decline rapidly which i am i mean i'm housebound i am too weak 
to do anything. My body is starving for nutrients and I can't even eat the food right in front of me. Just put it this way, yesterday she didn't need a walker to get around the house, today she didn't and probably tomorrow she's gonna be stuck upstairs or downstairs. So or whatever, so things are not going well and it's it is scary. You don't understand how much your body needs food until you can't eat. Mm -hmm. So the feeding tube will give me the nutrients I need. We have discussed this thoroughly with my doctor and tomorrow I'm gonna call and tell him, look, I can't make it to our next appointment. We need to do something now. So we're hoping he has some good answers for us because we're not gonna wait until I get to that point of no return again, having to go to the hospital as an emergency. So just wanted to update y'all on that. Anyways, mm -hmm. we are um, gonna- Settling in for the nights. Yeah, pretty much just discussing big life changes like feeding tube possibilities and how to help me in this scary situation. But we'll think of a solution and all will be well. And that's it for our night. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us on our adventure. Mm -hmm.